All right, today we are doing negative exponents. We've been working on exponents. Today we're gonna to talk about negative exponents. What you need to know is this one says for when A is not zero and for any whole number N. This works for any time A is not zero. A can be anything as long as it's not zero. The reason A cannot be zero is because you can't have zero as a denominator, which it will happen. So A cannot be zero. That's what this is saying. Uh, anytime you have a raised to the negative n power or any number raised to the negative power, what we do is we flip it. We put it on bottom. All right. We move it to the bottom to get rid of the negative exponent. So here we have eight negative two to get rid of the negative squared. I, I just flip it. I put eight squared on bottom. I write it over one and write this on bottom. Any questions? Write each expression using a positive exponent. What they'll do is they'll give you expressions with negative exponents. So you have to write them with a positive exponent. So all we do is we put one over and then two to the third power. That's how we get rid of the negative exponent. We flip it to the bottom. We make it a denominator. All right? M to the negative fourth. All right, 1 over m to the 4th. I just got rid of the negative exponent. Is there any questions so far? All right, now, uh, also, if you look at this one, okay, write this using a positive exponent. 0, right, what is 2 to the 0 power? Do you guys remember? 2. It's not 2. It's 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1 except for 0. Okay, that was from two days ago. They just throw that in there to make sure you remember. All right? Any questions? Homework today, you're going to see problems like this. It's going to say write each fraction as an expression using a negative exponent. It's also going to say other than negative 1. You can't use negative 1. Right? Everybody understand? And that's going to come into play on a problem like this. Because all you could do is you could write it like this and be done. But is that what they want? they got to make it difficult. No. So you cannot use negative one. That would not be a correct answer. So don't do that. Read the directions. All right. So let's work the first one. One over four squared. How would I write that using a negative exponent? Four, negative four raised to the negative two power. I just flip it up. Right? I just put it on top. And now it has a negative exponent. Then you're given a problem like this, where you can't use negative 1 as exponent. So I can't just say this is 100 over to the 1 power and then flip it 100 and negative 1. So what I have to do is I have to change 100 to a number that has an exponent. What number with its exponent could I use? Someone raise their hand and tell me. It can't be 50 raised to 2 power because that's 50 times 50, right? Okay. Jacob? 10 times 10, which would look like what as with an exponent? 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power, good. That's the pretty much the only one I can think of that you could use. 10, to the, 10 squared. Now I write that with a negative exponent. So what, someone raise your hand tell me what that would look like. Beagle. 10, negative two. 10 raised to the negative 2 power. That's my answer. All right. So what I have to do is I have to figure out what would go on bottom. What could I put on bottom? with an exponent. They're not going to give you really hard numbers, I promise. They're going to give you numbers like 125. Someone tell me what would need what needs to go on bottom here? Uh, Beagle or or Womack. 5 to the second power, good. Okay? 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. 5 times 5. All right? Then I change it with a negative exponent and there's my answer. Now, it won't always be to the second power. What if I give you a problem like this? 1 over 8. Could I do 4 squared? No, because 4 squared is 16. So, what would I have to use here? 2 to the third power. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So, make sure you're not just thinking it has to be a squared. It, can't, it doesn't always have to be. 8 would be the third power. Okay, 2 is third power. All right, any questions? 
Write this down. The question says write the decimal as a fraction and as a power of 10. So let's write as a fraction first. We know how to do that. We've done that before. We write the number over over a, uh, a something with a power of 10, right? In this case, 1 would go on top. Now i got to figure out what needs to go on bottom. And I do that by counting the decimal places. Well, this decimal place is what? It's, not, it's a tenth decimal place. What is this? Hundred? Thousand? Ten thousand? Hundred thousand? So what decimal place would this be? The million decimal place. So I write that right there. One over a million. Right? Then I need to write that as a power of ten. Okay? So what I do is I count how many zeros do I have there? Six, so I would raise 10 to the sixth power. All right, so I wrote it as a fraction, I wrote it as a power of 10. Now it might say a negative exponent. If it does, then I would change this to what? Negative. Negative. Ten, negative. One times 10 to the negative six, which is just like scientific notation, which you've done in science. All right, now, so you have to have this and you have to have this. Okay, let's do this one. This is one over what? What would be here? This is a ten decimal place. Hundred, thousand. So this would be the ten thousandth place. One over ten thousand. All right. Now I know this is going to be one times ten to the what power? Okay. Well, what I can do is what you've done in in. Science for signs of notation. You've count how many decimal places you moved a decimal. One, two, three, four. We moved it four times. So there's my other answer. All right. This is just what you've done in scientific notation. You moved the decimal, right, and then you raise it to that power. Since you've made a small number larger, it's the negative exponent. All right. It'll say evaluate for a to the negative fifth power if a is negative two. Here's the first thing I would do. I would write this where a has a positive exponent. I don't want to work with the negative exponent. I want to make it positive. So someone tell me, raise your hand and tell me what I need to do to make that to be a to the fifth power instead of a to the negative fifth power. Put it under one. Raise your hand. Womack. Put it under one. Under one or over one? under right what I would do is I would move it to bottom I would move it to the underside of the fraction to the bottom of the fraction right just like we've been doing if it's a positive if it's a negative exponent we put it on bottom so I've moved a and made it to a positive exponent which you have to do in your note in your homework today when you show your work you have to show that you've moved it to the bottom then you can show that you are plugging in negative 2 and for a, which a, since it's negative 2, negative 2 needs to be included in parentheses. And then you work out negative 2 to the fifth power. So you've got negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Then we need to reduce. We always reduce if possible. What could I take out of 4 and 32 and reduce it? Raise your hand. 1 over 8. Okay, what would I take out of it to get it to that? Four. I would take 4 out. That would leave me with 1 over 8. Because 4, five, four divided by 4 is 1. 32 divided by 4 is 8. And there's my answer. 1, 8. Any questions? Uh, Bray makes a good point. This is going to be negative. Right? Because it's raised to the fifth power, there's an odd number of negative signs, so it's going to be negative. So this is negative one-eighth. Any questions? Here's your homework assignment.